right these are going to be that panel on the front I planed a couple of pieces for the end these are all the same thickness and I was going to just put two inch in the middle but I think because all these slats are going to be sort of 45 mil I might make this three inch same as that but it means I've got to plane another piece I ain't got much off cuts Right, this is 380 deep. So it's going to be about what it is at the moment. So I cut these to length. I want uh, these bottom rails to run through, I think. Just try to picture it in my head. I'm going to have a cup of tea, have a think about that can either do it like that or let them through like that and this one obviously will stop like that No. I think I'm going to run them through like that. So as I often do when I'm cutting two things that are the same length, I'll cut them together. Extracting and emptying. Do the same with this top and bottom rail, cut them together. But I need one three seven now, so I've got my two ends here. That's there. So that's one two two. One two two two. I think I'm gonna ignore that too, because I want a little bit of clearance. So one two two. I'll just trim that end, spin these round, cut them at that. One, two, two. So. Yeah, I should have. Just short 137, that 2 mil, 2 mil short. So now I can measure in between there. Cut that little middle one. And I think I'm going to set a stop for that because then all these pieces will be the same height. Right, so I've marked centre for that one. And I've cut a load of pieces. And I'm going to sit them in. How I want them to be, roughly. Right, that's roughly what I want. I just use this little off cut to put the spaces somewhere like. But I think they want them a little tighter like that. And these ones are a bit tight at this end, so by the time all these shuffle up, I think it'll give me the gap that I want. So what I'll do now. I might put a clamp across there, just hold that in place, and I'll shove all these to one end, measure the space that's left and divide it by the amount of gaps that I want. Alright, so I've got 160 there, and I've got 160 there, so that's about right. Got a space here before this first one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then a space at the end, so eleven. One sixty divided by eleven. Calculate out. So one sixty divided by eleven is fourteen point five four. I'm just gonna call it fourteen and a half. I think what I'm gonna do is cut a packer at fourteen and a half. 
and I can set these mark out my centers I think I'll just be able to get an 8mm domino on these I've set them back slightly so I'm just going to sand this edge off I want it pretty square so this is essentially the back I'll mark my centers use them as my domino so it'll finish flush on this side but when you flip it over it'll be like this just set back a little bit not that centre one so they all move very slightly but I think that's what I want so what I'll do now is I'll very carefully I'll mark a centre mark on one and I'll work my way along put little centre marks on one I can slide this one down against this one, mark the centre marks on the bottom. Domino, I'm going to cut these ones with the adjustment on, and these ones into the, whatever you call them, the uprights. I'll put it with there's no, no adjustment, I think. I've got a lot of room to play with. I've got a little bit. But like I say, I only need that little bit of adjustment if I cut them properly. just get that in there little things like this is the time when I wish I had the small domino but I can't afford that so right I'm sure there's an easy way of doing this but you set yourself on the path don't you Like I said, I would like a little machine, the 500. It's the lowest little cut is 10 million. Which gives me that. I could put something under, under there, that lower this. But I don't think it'd be very accurate because it'd only be a little thin piece, about two or three mil thick, if that. Shit. Right, I have some of these spreaders, these plastic spreaders for the filler. I might double side that on. We'll see. Can't see. Shit. It came off quite easily. I'm going to cut that out. Tough little bit of plastic, this. Fuck. Oh, 
Well, broke it. Fuck it. Give it a go. Looks like it worked. It's fairly central as well. I'm going to go with that. I can make a new one, but nah. I'll be bored out again. And before I do these, I'm only going to be going in 25mm, but I just cut through my test piece. And I went all the way through and it looks pretty much the same on both sides so the machine's sitting flat. I was worried that it'd be, you know, like that. But that's looking pretty good, pretty parallel. Right, they're okay. If I look down them like that. They all look like they're in line. I'll do the bottom rail as well. They look off centre because these are going to be slightly off centre as well. Like a dat. These ones I'm doing on the adjustment, so I'll be able to wriggle them a little bit. I'm going to use my centralising gadget thing for all these spindles. I'll set it centre, I've had to reposition with plastic. I'll do one, see how it goes. Temporary domino. Can't remember which way up. That's flush enough. That'll do. Right, so they're all cut. I think I'll get that glued together. It'll be dry then for the morning.
tapping them all square. I've measured it corner to corner. I'm going to get these ends on, make sure it's square. Alright, so now that the lines join up, it's pretty much where it's going to be. I've just taken the clamps off because I want to turn it over. I can't get to this face because the clamps are in the way. So, I'm going to put it back together like this and get the ends on. Then I can clean all this glue off. <laughs> 